Welcome to today's 3D print. Today we are going to look at the GTEC A30. GTEC themselves sent me this printer for review. Um, it is basically a clone of the CR10, but I believe it has a color touchscreen, so we're going to see if it's any good. Stay tuned. Alrighty, contents of the box. We have the brain box, we have the vertical gantry, very CR10-like, although the hot end is quite different. We have the base unit. There are a couple things I really like and a couple things I really hate. They use six wheels in triangle formation on two rails. Two rails is a good thing. That means it should be very stable as long as it's physically aligned correctly. However, GTEC, seriously, talk to your accounting department for parts acquisition and tell me what the price difference is between this crappy 1.5 millimeter heat pad and a three millimeter heat pad. It's probably 30 or 40 cents. Go with the three millimeter heat pad. This heat pad sucks, it's too thin, okay? You're depending on the glass for support, but I'd, I'd like to see a nice heavy duty heat pad there, that, the, the thicker three millimeter aluminum ones. Y carriage, fantastic. Proper springs, fantastic. Tensionly, fantastic. Everything else looks fantastic. This is using that JG Aurora um, A5 i3 Mega Ultra Base type print surface, so we shall see how that works. This is the goodie box. Let's see what's inside the goodie box. We have US power cord, goodie bag. Oh, we have a GTEC mouse pad. Cute. That's all that's in the goodie box. Let's see what's in here. That looks like a spool holder. Ah, crappy sample. Ubiquitous blue USB cable. Zip ties, T brackets for the vertical gantry, one gigabyte SD card. Um, what the hell is this? It looks like aluminum rail pieces. I have no idea what that's for. We shall find out. Uh, Allen keys and screwdriver, extra bolts and nuts, screws, and. Uh, the other side, I thought both were in here. Okay, that's one T bracket, that's the other T bracket, and that is going to be your primaries for your gantry. So that is what is included in the glee bag. Stay tuned while we begin the first assembly. I'll probably start by installing the gantry onto the printer. So we're about to begin assembling this printer and I noticed something interesting. The these typical inserts that come in, you know, the little plastic inserts that come, these little blue plastic inserts. They have them on the back too. And the stuff on the back is not the same. This is a rubber material, like a very like a very heavy TPU. And this is more like a hard plastic, but it's flat, it's flush. So GTEC, ANET, Creality, Tronix Y, everybody else, if you're gonna use this stuff, use this stuff. Use this hard flat stuff. This won't interfere with the movement of the printer. It's flush, it's flat. Use this. Get, stop using this crap. Use this stuff. Whatever this is is good. So, vertical gantry is installed. Next step will be to install the T brackets. This one contains the limit switch, and this one is just a plain one for the other side. That will be what we install next. Alrighty, the T brackets are installed. The plain one on the right hand side, front facing, and the one with the limit switch on the left hand side. And that is basically it for the printer assembly. Now it's just a matter of plugging in all the wires. These are standard bolts. I do like the fact that most of the bolts on this printer are either um, cap screw, or if they are these mushroom heads, which I typically hate, they are the higher quality hardened ones. So good job GTEC on doing that. You put nice bolts on it, but you cheaped out on the aluminum plate. So update that on your future releases. Put a nice aluminum plate on there. But otherwise, good, I like that. Now we connect the wires, so standard connections just like on the CR10, and this bundle of wires will go to all the limit switches, which I will do next. Do not forget to flip your switch to 110 volts if you're in the US. Mine came set to 220. Alrighty, we are about to begin first power up. All the wires are connected. This also does have a filament runout sensor, and it looks like it is provisioned for the ability to add a bed leveling sensor. So I'm going to look in to see if I can get that. So here we go. Plastic porn for you guys. 
Touch screen. Power up. And there it comes. GTEC A33 printer. A little noisy. I'll be looking into replacing that fan. Well, the printer is giving me a hard time. It gets partway through the first layer and then it stops. And I'm not sure why. I thought it could be G code or something else. I tried a different SD card. Doesn't seem to matter. Um, it works fine and then it just stops. And always on the first layer. It never makes it to the second layer. So I'm not too sure about that. I'm gonna have to. F I don't see any loose wires in here. I'm gonna show you guys this in a moment so you can see the inside away. But hold on, let me show you what's inside here. So here's the inside. There's the primary board there with replaceable drivers. Up top there is the daughter board that has the SD card slot and USB. Back there is the MOSFET with its own cooling fan. Everything is crimped and everything is sealed. A little bit dab of hot glue on every connection. There's the daughter board up front for the LCD screen and a cooling fan for it. Replaceable drivers. It looks pretty nice, but something's not right. So I'm going to have to contact support and see what they say. I've bypassed the filament sensor, and that doesn't stop the problem. It just stops. It doesn't error, no reset. It just stops. So I'm not entirely sure what to do about that.